Hi, I'm Bill Myers. This is my video tip of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to set up Sony Vegas or Sony Movie Studio to get optimum results when you use a Canon HV20 or a Canon HV30. What you see on the screen here is Sony Vegas Movie Studio. And this is a new project. And the first thing we're going to do is, is bring in some, uh, a high def file from the Canon HV20 and then set our project properties. To do that, I click File, Import, and Media and then pick the video file that I want to use in this project. I want to use this file right here. M2T, that's the file type, tells me this is a high definition file from my Canon HV20. So I click OK to open and then I'm going to drag it up on the timeline. Here it is down here on the timeline. The video looks OK, but generally I want, I want to edit this high definition so I don't have these black bars above and below it. To do that I'm going to go up to File and Properties and under the properties, you see the standard properties are 720 by 480. Now that's not high definition, that's standard definition. I want to change that. The easy way to change the property to match your video is to click on this file folder right there. And then go back and select that file that you just uploaded. And what Sony will do is it will adjust the properties, you see now that says 1440 by 1080, to match the video that you have on your site. So I like that, so I'm going to apply it and click OK. But now you notice that over here on the video screen, even though it's squared up, the video proportions, and I'll move it to a frame where you can see, the video proportions are not right. You see it looks, uh, it looks narrower than, there than I should. That's easy to fix. I go up to Options, I go to Preferences, I click Video, and on the Preferences I'm looking for the Video Preview Display, and there's a box that says Simulate Device Aspect Ratio. We always want to check that and click Apply. And now if you look down here in this window, you, you notice we have a high resolution output that the video display looks about right, I mean looks the way it should, and gives us good results. Now we can go ahead and edit and know that whatever we see down here is going to match the aspect ratio of the high definition video. Now in the next video I'm going to show you how to render this so that your results are going to look as great as you see on your video preview window right here. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips. To find more like this, visit www.bmyers.com.